Hey there, everybody. Happy Saturday to you. We're going to do something super simple today just because the world is a rather complex place at the moment. And we could all use a wee bit of calm and a wee bit of, uh, of positive energy instead of all that negative stuff rolling around and around and around. So we are going to trace and cut today. I think tracing and cutting is a great way to to recenter, refocus, renew, re-energize yourself in a rather complicated and often troubling and kind of frightening uh, scenario that we are in now. So I have some patterns that uh, that I've had for like ever and ever. So we're just going to kind of uh, rifle through the patterns, and the only thing that you need is 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 patterns if you're not a good drawer and I'm not a very good drawer or if you are a good drawer <laughs> then you can just kind of uh, trace some things onto the magazine pages and use them that way I love magazines I especially love uh, magazines that I cannot afford like Somerset Studios I think that it's an awesome magazine. I love the quality of the paper and everything. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to take some pages and we are simply going to transform form them by just tracing and cutting. I've got a selection of pens here. This is these are my embellishment pens for my. Um, I was going to show you what I'm doing with watercolor right now, but I can't reach it. These are my embellishing pens. These are mark making or doodling or whatever, you know, you want to call it right now. It's not like something special. It's just some pens that I put together. And we might be using these for embellishment as well. And as we pick these up, I'll let you know uh, what kind of pen they are. But the pens are, you know, you don't even really have to, you don't really even have to have them. All right, let's get started while, uh, before I ramble myself to death. I've got, a, um, I've got a little butterfly image here, and I see a really nice pattern that would probably really make a nice butterfly. I can't decide whether to do it like this or do it like this. I also want to get the most out of this page that... I can right because it's got cool images it's got cool um, it's it's got cool words on it and things like that so I do want to kind of uh, look at what we got going on here and how I can best access it and that that will change from you know person to person project to project I kind of like it like this isn't it funny how you decide to do something and you'll uh this pen is a calligraphy atoya double header it's a cl10 it's got that uh cool pointy end as well as uh, uh a wider end on this side so it makes it uh you know do love anything that's multifunctional don't we so we're just going to trace them around you know, like i said we're, we're just going to keep it super simple today tracing and cutting for grown-up people. It's very effective. It makes you feel really good when you can create something really pretty and it doesn't uh, have to turn into some sort of complex, really big struggle, right? I like simplicity. I like the, uh, I like the nature of, uh, doing simple things like i said to just kind of recenter ourselves because this was a calligraphy pen it's going to be a wee wet you can let it dry if you want but i kind of like to just go ahead and cut it out i like the smearing quality that you get often that smearing quality kind of makes whatever you're doing look distressed and that's a lot of fun right so it's instant instant de-stress in the crafty world it's also instant de-stress in the stressful uh earth world as well i'm going to take you in just a little bit because i realized we were kind of uh 
kind of uh, trying to, we're going to have to use our spectacles, right? <laughs> so we've made a little butterfly. You can even kind of like go that extra mile and like make it 3D if you want to. Because I will be using these in uh, in creative journals and in flow pockets and things like that, I'm just going to keep it just like it is. All right, so we're going to put this over here. Let's see, let's check out the paper that we have left. And I'm kind of like really thinking that something like this could be like a really fun uh, torn paper kind of project. Or... Something like that. All right, I, I still see usable bits and bobs. Uh, this is kind of <laughs> reminiscent of, of uh, chippies, you know, like when we used to do chippies. Uh, we don't do them much anymore, but, um, you know, always fun to do. Okay, so this is this is what we have left. Let me take you back. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm having like a focusing problem, and that is not just a, a me focusing, but it's like a general focus of the camera problem. All right, so we're finished with this. Let's take that same pattern and find something else that we might like. I, uh, I kind of like... Let's flip it over and see. Oh, gosh, yeah, see. Always flip it over. You've always got something really fun to to uh, to work with over here. So, you know, you could have double images to choose from. So, we're going to trace. And cut. I like this idea. So what the artist did was just kind of use some twigs and some uh, twine and added some 3D images to a piece of art. Isn't that pretty? So basically what you're doing here is you're diffusing the actual image on the page. You know, we wouldn't want to cut these images out and stick them in something. Um you know, um, sellable. We, we want to um, just kind of make them into our own little thing and use them like that. All right, so we still have just a little bit of usable material here. So we'll just kind of stick that over here. We might do something with the, these chippy bits in a little bit. All right, let's see what else we have here. This is a nice piece of, um, this is a nice piece of text right here. So I think we'll take a smaller pattern and pick up that text, kind of fun. I can't really tell you guys how long I've had these patterns. It's been a really, really, really long time. But they've really become like a very intimate uh, part of my, of what I do. Uh, just because of their longevity hanging around the, the studio. I like this arrow so much that I'm just going to make that kind of part of the little piece down here. Can you see where we're getting some smearing from the calligraphy pen? And that is okay. Oh, that turned out really well. All right, let's do another one in this small-ish kind of way. This says, um, kind of like that.
there's nothing quite like going back to basics to the building blocks that kind of put that little fire in your belly for loving to make things you know it's it's your it's like your first experiment with play-doh and uh, coloring painting when i was in second grade we had uh you know you could you, we did painting which was uh, <laughs> i had a really cutting edge second grade teacher i mean this was in this was 1965 and she was my big profound influence in my whole life um, between Mrs. Madrid, what's her name, and my uncles, um, who were musical and artsy. That turned out really well. Do you like that? Isn't that pretty? All right, we've got us a nice little stack going over here, y'all. Another really great way to utilize paper like this is to find a nice pattern and just create a little heart out of it. Let's do that again. Just really, you know, as we head toward the end of the year, and then the beginning of next year, you know, we start to think about gosh, the holidays start all over, don't they? Um all right, we've got a big thing here. Let's see what we got. Oh that would be kind of perfect. Um, I thought I might use a different tracing device. This is a Tombow water-based marker. It's got a bit, it's an orange-ish. So let's just experiment and see how this might look. So we were talking about, you know, the, what what made us into these people who wanted to create. I do like that, but I, I think it's really hard to see. So it's gonna be hard for me to cut it out. Ah, oh, but you know what? I do have a Sharpie metallic gold in my embellishments. Let's try it out, it'll be fun. I would love to know like what your experience was that made you want to be a maker, made you want to be a creator, gave you that kind of fire in your belly and made you want to pick up a brush or pick up a guitar or pick up a piano or a keyboard or a synthesizer or a microphone or a brush or a pen or a pencil or some embroidery floss. What's your story? My story is probably all of the above, although I spent a lot of years being a musician and a songwriter and a singer and a publisher and a booking agent and a tour manager. <laughs> Good gosh. I read a great quote not long ago that said, music is spiritual. The music business is not. <laughs> it really wasn't. I tried to bring some spiritual to it for 40 years. This is going to turn out well. It's fun when you, uh, you know, experiment with your tracing. really fun. All right, I think I whacked 
something off that I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, that's the beauty of doing something all in black, I reckon. But it's fine. I ain't going to worry about it. We got enough to worry about. I just like this text. Uh, so I'm just going to rip that out right here. We're getting so much in the way of, you know, really pretty color, pretty designs. And like I said, you know, it's fun to take an image and just alter it. It's fun to take anything and alter it. I like to alter books. I'm, I've got a book on my shelf that I'll be altering later on today. Uh, speaking of later on today, please, you guys, if you could do a thanks, that would be awesome. Uh, I've got a link to my PayPal here. I need to link my Venmo. I know that some folks do like to do that. It's very helpful. Because YouTube does not make money. But it's a great way to communicate with y'all. It's a great way to engage. Maybe show you something new. I'm not like cutting edge over here. I'm not super smart. I did that one the correct way. And it looks a lot better. Imagine that. All right, we've got one more. We've really, really utilized that page of paper, my friends. Okay. That does have a word on it, but I'm kind of partial to this uh, goldish kind of thing going on here. Let's see what we have over here. Oh, we do have some sweet wings. Well, basically, what you're doing is you are building your own embellishment stash. So instead of like going to a store or hopping on Amazon and purchasing something from not a U.S. place, if you're gonna buy US, do it, do it, do it. You might wanna reconsider if you're buying from not USA, so. Hey, I think that's gonna turn out really well. It is going to be a witchy witch to cut though. And I'm not sure that my digits are up for it. So I think we're just going to leave it just like that. I do want a word or a phrase or something up there. So I'll just keep that in mind because that is what I want to do with this one. Just keep it like it is. My finger, my hands are starting to shake already. All right. Uh, we've got that chippy, wee tiny little bit right there. Let's go for a wee tiny butterfly. I think we can adjust it on the page and make it kind of work. I'm going to try my little Sharpie. When I find these Sharpie markers at a Dollar General or sometimes the stationery department at the grocery store will have these Sharpie ultra fine tip markers and they'll be a dollar and it, I pick up a lot of them when they're a dollar. This one turned out really sweetly. You know, you can embellish these, you can embellish their wings. Um, when you put them on a piece of paper, you can give them their antennae if you want. All right, we are done with one, one piece of paper. I wanted to show you what we can do. Uh, I've got several more pages of that beautiful Somerset catalog, but I wanted to show you what we could do 
with just a basic uh, magazine. This is this is the stamp catalog, the paleontology, is that right? Catalog. It's got a lot of cool images. The thing I really really like about this is that it has it has rich, vibrant colors. So let's do a bird. Let's do a couple things. There's a round circle here, so we can make that into an embellishment. So we can cut that out. And then we've got a bird. And then the other thing that I'd like to do is to just make a, make a flower. I think we could do that. This is a slicker magazine. You're really going to get some smear here, so I'm just going to go ahead and smear it out with my finger. It makes it look, it makes it look like, um, like you did it with the stamp pad, but you didn't. You, know, you just used your finger and kind of smooshed it around a little bit. All right, let's see what we can get out of this piece of paper. So we have our bird cut that out. It is a little glary. I do apologize, but I don't think I can turn off my lights today because I don't think I could see. See, that really gave that bird some depth and interest. See? This was what we had in the corner. Anytime you can make your own stuff, make your own stuff. Um, I'm really just so digging this blue. So you could use it just like that. Put a butterfly on it, put a word on it, and you've got an embellishment. You've got something you can put on a page. But I am not going to do that. I'm going to make a flower. So we've just cut this into, we just folded it. I hope I folded that right. I don't feel like I did. Oh, yep, I did. Got a little butterfly-ish thing going on here. So we'll put that in the stack. Really loving the blue. I'm gonna see if I can find a word. And there's one right there. Forever. Grab my glue stick. Did like this massive clean out, massive clean out yesterday. And now I'm like, oh, my glue stick. there it is. Thank you, Michelle, for your contribution to my art life. <laughs> the dick blick. There we go. Then, okay, so, all right. You got it, right? Uh, let's look on the back of this page. Got some really pretty waterfall images. These are waterfall stamps. They're so pretty. So again, you know, you can go to the craft store and you can purchase stamps or you can just kind of create your own and there we've got another nice color block 
And then the word stamps just pre presented itself. I love stamps. I like to get the stamp catalog. I like to, oh, look at these. These are the stamps that will go on um, my happy mail this month. It's the Life Magnified stamp set. It is so awesome. Oh, my patrons get happy mail. So if you're interested in uh, being my patron over at Patreon, we would appreciate having you. There's a link in the description box, so do take that into consideration. All right, let's go back to Somerset and see if there's anything that we can kind of glean off here. I love this full image, and I recognize this as, you know, Tim Holtz, so we can kind of just cut this out. You know, being careful to... Um, Cut around the background so you're just de backgrounding the whole thing. It's so nice to use these in your journals. I think they're a lot of fun. I can't afford this kind of stuff, so I have to kind of just make my own. It's, it's not, I, I, I used the wrong word. It's not that I can't afford it. It's that I choose to spend my box on other things. Because I know that I can make my own little artsy bits and bobs, right? So again with this, we'll just take out this. We have some really pretty layering here. This would actually make a really good color block with a uh, with word on it. Let's see what we can find. I see some text that's really interesting. Um, you could use some chit chat, you know, Tim Holtz chit chat or something like that would be great. Um, I do see the word game here. Oh, there you go. So you're doing your own chit chat. You're doing your own um, cutout images. You're you're doing your own um, collages. You're you are collaging to collage to a bigger space or a bigger canvas or whatever. Or your mixed media. So you know, basically, we're just making mixed media pieces here. Okay, let's do just a few more. My hands are shaking super bad. It happens. It is okay. Okay. I think what we'll do with this one is go back to our little images. And I've got a sweet little butterfly that just fits. Yay! And where was my pen? There it is. I always have to like look, <laughs> make sure I'm not getting that big wacky end, you know. This is a great way to spend a rainy day, a great way to spend a cold day. This is definitely a 
Hugo, is that what they call that? Um, crafty kind of thing. I'm I'm not gonna fuss about those. Little... Nope. Just nope. You know we could, if we wanna kind of put together a quick mixed media piece before my hands give out entirely. We could do that. Let's do that. All right, for my background, let's see what I have for my background that I could use for a background. I'm kind of trying to keep in mind that I do have rather neutral colors going on. That might not work. I am very rambly. I apologize. That's a little... Dumb. That's probably not going to work either. Oh, there you go. Mm, that's too busy, don't you think? Uh, all right, give me just a second. Let's see if I can find anything in the drawer right here that's open. Hang on. Oh, you, you know what? You could just entirely uh, like transform a greeting card. Let's do that. I tend to keep almost everything. This is from my mama. I bought her these cards. Hey, I got a bookmark. Hmm, I'll do that. This is a card that I made using this very same process. There's something that might work. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that was a bad idea. Um, I did want to leave you with something there. My head is not working so great. I, hey, I just found a little, a little, um, I just found a little journal. All right, let's do that. Let's find a neutral-ish. Isn't it nice when you make something and then you discover it and it's like just the thing that you might need? It's like, yeah, I like that. All right, let's just start right here. That's kind of perfect. This is going to be perfect. I think I'm going to put them here because I like the way her pink flowers appear on the pink right here. I'm going to rip out the word listen. put it up here. Right there. That looks nice. Okay, one page is finished. With this one, I'm going to take those little ripped up bits
sorry. See? <laughs> Good gosh. So do you see what we're doing here? We just kind of picked up a little journal. I do have these to sell in the shop. I've got a whole stack of them that I have not listed yet. If you think you might be interested. We think about time and the traveling of time. So when I think about time, I also think about stamps. Stamps, you have that time signature with a piece of mail, a letter, whatever. So to me, stamps are equivalent to time. So this is a little page about time. Um, this is upside down, but that's okay because we're gonna we're gonna use that um, that really pretty angel wing thing there. We're gonna diffuse this whole page. by just putting another image over the image that was there. Like I said, I've got a whole stack of these things, these books like this to go into the Etsy store. So just, you know, be watching for them. the next wee while. I think that's a little big. I do like this. It says melancholy. There you go. All right, I'm going to stop right there. I'm getting hoarse and uh, my, my hands are shaking really bad. So what we did today, guys, just to sum up, we just took some magazines and we were able to create embellishments by just using some basic patterns, some basic shapes, uh, a tracing tool, which can be a pen or a marker or whatever you have on hand. If you just have some crayons, then that'll be just fine too. Anything that you can trace an image onto a magazine page. Uh, and then we cut those out and then from the things that we cut out, we were able to just go ahead and start a small uh, junk journal, flow journal, um, art journal, whatever you want to call it. We did one page, two pages, and we can go back and embellish this. We did three pages. We did four pages. We can go back and embellish this even further, you know, if we want to. Please do look for these little journals in the Etsy store. I will be putting them in there sometime um, over the next, like, two to three days. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Please give me a like and a thanks and a comment. I really do appreciate your comments. Thanks for hanging out for 40 minutes today, y'all. I appreciate it. See you soon.